It takes art, science, and a lot of luck to go from vine to fine. American Sip and Swirl with Enthusiasm. According to Decanter Magazine, the U.S. consumes the most wine in the world. But that could change, says sommelier Sarah Marshall. A lot of generations are shifting. Wine sales compared to beer, liquor, seltzers are in somewhat of a decline. And wine industries are listening to that. Wine culture can also seem elitist, says Marshall, which begs the question. How do we make wine approachable? By boarding this tricked out mink green school bus, perhaps. What do we love to do to bring people together? So we kind of came up with the idea of gather, journey, dine. The Savory Lane is a New Hampshire based mobile tour operator. Co owners and sisters Lisa Galoni and Maria Chasevsky offer a tour of local vineyards. Our goal is to bring people to these locations to help support their businesses. Maria drives while Lisa hosts. Even their mom, Pat, is involved. She also makes all our baked goods for our charcuterie board. And then my daughter, Ava, she uh, does all our social media. On today's tour, Mill River Winery in Raleigh, Massachusetts. First wine that you have is our Shades of Grey Rosé. This is inspired by Provence style rosés. A nice dry rosé with notes of strawberry and orange blossom in the finish. Donna Martin is Mill River's owner and winemaker. I'm a scientist by heart. I got a PhD in chemistry at the University of New Hampshire. After a career in academia and in business, Martin became fascinated with winemaking. It's a very nice white wine. We make wines from local grapes. We also source grapes from uh, premium regions around the world. And so people can come and get some wines they're familiar with, but they also get this opportunity to try the great local wines right now that are being served in Massachusetts. How's the wine? Top tier. And did we mention that the Savory Lane has on board karaoke? So I've been told you're a bit shy. Yeah, well, not when it comes to karaoke. What happens? I come alive. Yeah. This is a party bus. Yes! <laughs> you don't have a dance pole. What do you call it? A, you don't have a pole. <laughs> yeah. But not like your typical party bus. Where nobody's puking in the back. No, none of that. We are Turns out Freddie, that's the name of the bus, is all about family. So Freddie is our bus. Our grandmother, my mom's mom, her nickname was Freddie. And she was the first woman in our family to own her own business. What do you think about this vision and how it's come to life and what your daughters have been able to do? It has evolved into something just amazing. I'm very, very proud of it. Don't you know I heard it through the grapevine? That much longer would you be mine? John Bevilacqua and his family have been making wine for years the old-fashioned way. We're the third generation of uh, lifelong winemakers, originated in Italy. Our grandparents and parents emigrated from Italy to Roslindale, which is where we grew up. Together with his brothers and cousins, the family turned their passion into a business, opening Diba Vino Winery in 2020. The Diba Vino name is a, a combination of the three family surnames, Di Napoli, Bevilacqua, and Arpino. No, there aren't acres of vineyards off Route 1 here in Walpole, but the family winery does have a laid back patio where they currently offer their eight reds and five whites. Growing up, we were traditional red, Zinfandel, Sangiovese, Cab, on the white side, primarily Muscatel and maybe a Pinot Grigio occasionally. While a crisp white wine can be refreshing. People come for the wine, but they stay for the slushies. That's right, Diba Vino serves up three flavors of wine slushies. When we first started introducing the slushie to the public, we were using a Pinot Grigio and a Malbec, and people love that. And then we've just recently shifted to a Rosé and our Zinfandel. Our, our most popular slushie is what we refer to as our Parfait, 
which is a layer of rosé, a layer of Zinfandel, a layer of, so it is a nice parfait look and people uh, really go crazy over it. So much that they had to purchase multiple slushy machines. When you're walking out to serve a table, you can see every head in the place turn and everybody wants one. All right, back to Freddie. Yes. The tour bus, beautiful singing, by the <laughs> Thank way. <you. laughs> it does have heat and AC and a bathroom. Important, all three. The tour was so much fun. <laughs> Lisa and Marie are hilarious. Future tours include cannabis, oh. taco, goat yoga, and maple syrup. So there's a wide range of tours that you can participate in. It so was, we may be back as well. We may be back. Saying. Coming up, waking up with wine.